It's time for a Bible story. A long time ago, there lived a man named Joseph. And Joseph and his family lived in the land of Canaan. Canaan. I've heard that name before. Oh, isn't that the place with the really good chicken strips? Uh, no. That's Raising Cane's, and it's a restaurant. Canaan was a country, like thousands of years ago. Ah, uh, gotcha. So that's Joseph right there, huh? And I guess those are all like all the people that lived in his village? Actually, that's just Joseph's family. All of those people? Seriously? You bet. Joseph had a really big family. In fact, he had 11 brothers. Whoa, that would be awesome to have that many brothers. You could have like your own football team or like two basketball teams or six tennis teams. Okay, okay, we get it. And actually, it wasn't all that awesome for Joseph. His brothers didn't like him at all. In fact, they kind of hated him. How come? Well, Joseph was his dad's favorite son. His father, Jacob, loved him like crazy. He thought he was the coolest, best, most awesome kid in the world. Uh, aren't you, like, not supposed to have a favorite kid? That's like parenting 101. Or at least just keep that on the down low, you know? Like, I'm clearly my mom's favorite kid, but you don't hear her blabbing about it all the time. Well, Jacob didn't keep it on the down low at all. He made it very clear that Joseph was his favorite son by giving him a special gift. Ooh, what'd he get? A solid gold Xbox? A diamond-encrusted fidget spinner? An Xbox made out of gold and diamond fidget spinners? Um, no, because those things don't exist. His dad gave him a coat. What? That's kind of a lame present. That's like getting underwear for Christmas. Well, actually, back then it was a pretty special gift. This coat had all these different colors and the fabric was super nice. It was incredible. But of course, not everybody liked this coat that Joseph had. Let me guess, his brothers. Yep. When his brothers saw him get this nice coat, they got super jealous and extra mean to him. But then something happened one day that made it a lot worse. What happened? Well, Joseph started to have some interesting dreams at night while he was sleeping. And these were different than any dreams that he'd had before. Ah, classic case of the old weird dream, huh? Been there. One time, I had this dream that my hands were feet, and my feet were hands, and I had mouths on my knees. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. That's super weird. Joseph's dreams were not like that at all, but they were still pretty interesting. One night, he dreamed that he and his brothers were working in the field collecting wheat, when all of a sudden, Joseph's bundle of wheat stood up tall, and the bundles that his brothers were collecting all bowed down to it. Whoa, I mean, that's a pretty weird dream. Well, at least he didn't have mouths on his knees. Yeah, you got me there. Another time, Joseph dreamed that the sun, the moon, and 11 stars all bowed down to him. Hmm, I'm sensing a theme here. Something about things bowing down to Joseph. But what could it mean? Well, here's the deal. These dreams weren't just random. They actually meant something, and they came from God. God gave Joseph those dreams to tell him something, to show him that he had big plans for his life. So what happened next? Well, after Joseph had those dreams, he told his family all about them. Uh, probably not the best idea, dude. Your 11 brothers don't really like you. They probably don't want to hear a dream about them bowing down to you. Did it, like, make them mad? Oh, yeah. Like, really mad? Yup. So mad, in fact, that they actually started planning a way to get rid of Joseph. They thought about just killing him. Yikes, that escalated quickly. But then they came up with a way to get rid of him and make some money at the same time. Man, these guys are some serious jerks. No kidding. They all ganged up on Joseph, ripped off his fancy coat, and threw him in a well. Later, a caravan passed by and they pulled him out of the well. Oh, thank goodness. And sold him off as a slave. What? Come on, man. They laughed and counted their money as Joseph was carried off by the slave traders headed for a life of backbreaking work in a strange foreign land. Man, that's rough. Then, to cover their tracks, they all made up a story to tell their dad. They took Joseph's fancy coat, ripped it to shreds, and put animal blood all over it. They showed it to their father and said that Joseph was killed by a wild animal. And he believed him? Well, yeah. Man, these brothers are just the worst. Never mind, I don't want to be on a football team with these guys. You ever scored a touchdown or made a good play? They just try and kill you. I wouldn't be surprised. Jacob was heartbroken about Joseph. As far as he knew, his favorite son was gone forever. Man, this story has some seriously tough stuff. I thought you said that Joseph's life was going to be all special, but so far it's just sad and whatnot. You got to warn me next time. Well, just wait and see, because the story is totally not over yet. 
Yeah, Joseph's life started kind of rough, and honestly, it's not all smooth sailing from here. But even when his circumstances didn't look great, God never left him and still had an amazing plan for his life. So wait, that's not the end? Oh no, this story's just getting started. To be continued? Ooh, I like those. Oh man, but now I gotta wait for the next part. You're good. Well played.